But we're going to begin with the breaking news from Ukraine this morning. Russia has launched its deadliest air attacks in nearly two months. The Russian military fired a barrage of cruise missiles and drones against cities across Ukraine, killing at least 16 people. Now, the, these attacks come amid signs that Ukraine is preparing to launch a major counteroffensive sometime this spring. Charlie Daggett has more on this story from Ukraine. Charlie, good morning. We are all so ready for this to be over. Yeah, good morning to you, Gail. We are in the city of Nikopol, across the river from the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. This city came under attack last night. We're in Dnipro last night. That city came under attack last night. And it comes as Ukraine's defense minister makes this announcement just today. Preparations for the counteroffensive are being wrapped up. As soon as there is God's will, the weather and the decision by commanders will do it. Death and destruction overnight, hundreds of miles from any active front line. A cruise missile tore into this apartment building in the central city of Uman. <laughs> we're covered in blood, wails a young mother. The children were sleeping here. It's good that everyone's alive. As she shows the burning crater outside, she swears at the Russians responsible. Such is the terrifying reality of life in Ukraine that nowhere can be completely safe while Russian missiles indiscriminately rain down on its cities, killing civilians in their sleep. A number of young children are among the dead in a wave of pre-dawn attacks across the country. The capital, Kyiv, came under attack too for the first time in weeks, with officials saying air defenses shot down 11 missiles and two drones. Each civilian victim constitutes a potential war crime, says the UN head of human rights in Ukraine. If you look at the scale of the injuries, of the killings, of the, uh, of the destruction, it's very clear that international humanitarian law, the, the rules of, of war, have been broken and that war crimes have taken place. Now, we've spoken to senior Ukrainian defense officials about that counteroffensive. They're obviously not giving anything away. It could happen anywhere and any time along a border that stretches for hundreds of miles. Gail? Thank you, Charlie Daggett, a reporting from Ukraine.